Makkah al mukarramah 1880, during the Ottoman era. We are looking at the holy city surrounded by mountains from Ajat Fortress, guardian of these sacred lands. The Ottomans did not even hoist their own flag on Ajit Fortress out of respect towards the most ancient masjid of the world, Masjid al-Haram, for they were always conscious that they were merely servants of these lands. We are now taking you to the Masjid al-Haram of 1880. The construction of the holy ground, whose first architectural drawings were made by architect Sinan, was completed according to the style during the reign of Sultan Murad III in 1576. In the later years, the sultans made every effort to make sure Hajj was performed in the most appropriate method. If we pay close attention, we can see that all the buildings in the vicinity were built observing a sensitivity, making sure that none overshadowed Kaaba al muazzama Now we see the Ottoman porticos. This is surrounded by the ribats, where the pilgrims who had no financial means could stay for free. The Suleymaniyah Madrasa, built adjacent to Masjid al-Haram, indicates how much the Ottomans valued education. Now we are viewing the Holy Masjid from the side where our Prophet ﷺ used to enter. We are before Baba Salam, the Gate of Salam, constructed in the glorious memory of Rasulullah ﷺ. The names of the Ottoman sultans, from Osman Ghazi to Sultan Murad III, are inscribed on its door. We pass under the porticos, proceed across the sand, and reach the tawaf area covered with white marble. The Bani Sheba Gate, which we are standing in front of, bears the memory of Rasulullah and the Sheba family, the custodians of the keys of the Kaaba al Muazzama. During those times, the Hujjaj or pilgrims entered the masjid for tawaf passing through the Bani Shaiba gate and continued to the right in accordance with Sunnah of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We too are doing so. Firstly, we are met by the member commissioned and sent by Suleiman the Magnificent from Istanbul in 1558. The four different buildings that we are passing now are the stations representing the four madhabs of Ahl al-Sunnah. The larger of these, the Hanifi station, is directly opposite the Golden Groove. At that time, prayers were not led by a single imam, but every imam of each madhab led prayers in these places. The tawaf area was surrounded by oil lamps to facilitate evening prayers. By virtue of the love of these holy places, rose oil was used in these oil lamps. As we move from the corner of Al-Sham to the corner of Yemen, by passing the Maliki and Hanbali stations, we are right opposite Hajar al-Aswad. The ruby from paradise sent down to earth together with Adam a.s. This is the starting point of Tawaf. Multazam, one of the exceptional places where prayers are accepted. By visiting the Hijr al Ismail and the Golden Groove, we are coming to the front of the door of the Kaaba al Muazzama. The wooden staircase which was specially made in India from the seven tree was only used when entering inside. Its inscription contains the date of 1824. And now we are at the door of Baitullah. The excitement of seeing inside covers our whole soul.
by remembering Ibrahim alayhi salam, the constructor of Kaaba al muazzama We are passing towards Maqam Ibrahim mentioned in two places in the Holy Quran. This place is one of the most important sections of Masjid al-Haram, where the footprint of Ibrahim alayhi salam miraculously remained on the stone. The area with its open sides near Maqam Ibrahim is the Shafi station. In this hot climate, undoubtedly, Zamzam water is a lifesaver. We are leaving the Shaiba gate and moving on to the Zamzam building. The Ottomans built the first structure over the Zamzam al-Sharif well in 1517 and decorated its wall with ayahs and hadith relating to Zamzam. The well of Zamzam was surrounded by a silver fence, a gift from the Ottoman Sultan Ahmed I. We are leaving the Zamzam al-Sharif building, which is surrounded by public fountains and by passing under the Ottoman porticos that were kept lower than the Kaaba al-Muazzama out of respect. We are coming to the Sa'i area. We are at the starting point of Sa'i on Safa Hill. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam climbed up to Safa Hill on the first day he started to preach Islam openly and gathered all the Quraysh around this hill. The Sa'i area is located inside the Ibrahim Valley which opens to the direction of Arafat, Mosdalifa and Mina where Hajj is performed. Carrying many memories from the Asar as Sada, this field, which is 20 meters wide and 394 meters long, was a place independent of Masjid al-Haram and integrated with the city life at that time. It was left uncovered and untouched in order to understand the hardship that Mother Hazrat Hajar faced and to feel a bit of what she was going through. Viewing the city from Marwa, the end point of the Sa'i, We are moving on to the neighborhood and the house where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam honored the world with his joyous birth. This place has been used as a masjid since the first years of Islam and was known as the Mawlid an Nabi Masjid in 1880. Let us bid farewell to the place where the divine gazes have centered, the place where the angels frequent and the Qibla of the Muslims with the words of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. O Makkah, you are surely the best of places created by Allah and you are the most beloved to Allah. Shukran and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.